for um, the class that Blake and I are in, um, economic development and the environment, we have to do a like a semester project, and that's writing a, a paper typically. It's a $2 challenge uh, that was started at the University of Mary Washington by a professor named Sean Humphrey and a few of his students, and how um, they basically just tried to live on $2 a day. So another part of the challenge is we have uh, a whole learning aspect. Um, there's three readings that are for each day along with a short like 15 to 20 minute video. Had grown tired of me Cause I sat we definitely could have predicted the weather which has been really crazy this week. It's tough to live in that kind of weather. It really shows how unpredictable uh, life can be when you don't have all the resources. Toes were just freezing, couldn't feel them. Hands were freezing, nose was cold. Woke up, didn't sleep well. Just, I mean, that's definitely the toughest part. And last night wasn't too bad. There's a little bit of hail, just these small little hail droplets. And then today uh, we had all this rain, which it's probably the worst of it because of all the leaks. So we didn't know how this was necessarily going to go. As we started up, we had like seven people, um, and the next night we doubled at least. I didn't even count how many people there were, but we had to like build our shelter at least twice as big. During the day, we went about our routines as normal, like going to class and even civic engagement day. My biggest fear was definitely how bad I was going to smell when I was sitting next to classmates. Yeah, I think most of our friends and peers have thought it was pretty awesome. Like, wow, are you okay? Are you doing okay? Um, I've also found that like they're the biggest enablers because this experience is about really understanding the process of living for the homeless person, but they want to give us food and freebies, and it's like stop it. <laughs> We're getting the point across. I mean. People are asking, and I think it's a good opportunity to, for us as uh, participants to give them answers. Ultimately, I think that this experience helped me move in some way from sympathy to empathy um, to be able to feel what people in poverty feel day in and day out, and also to hopefully become more of a sidekick rather than thinking that I can be the hero in every situation.